Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and last week I got an amazing deal on these Justin boots on Craigslist. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you check it out after this one, of course. But since they are used, they're a little bit dusty, they're a little bit dirty, they need some loving. So I wanted to share my process of cleaning used cowboy boots. Let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, I have everything that I need for a first clean condition polish on a used cowboy boot. Now this is for cowhide boots. This is my process for cowhide boots that have the smooth leather. This is not a process that you wanna use for a lot of exotics or rough out and suede. So this is just purely your regular cowhide cowboy boot. And I wanna share with you what I use. So you're gonna want saddle soap, a leather conditioner of some kind, and I also use a shoe polish. Also, I use three brushes. Now that might be a little bit overkill, but we're just sharing my process today. I use one brush for the application of the saddle soap, another brush for the shoe polish, and this fingernail brush for cleaning the welt and the stitches in the welt. You can also use a toothbrush if you need one of those. A couple of rags, you'll also need some, some rags and some water as well for the saddle soap. So, now that we have everything here, let's get in to actually cleaning and conditioning this boot. The first step is to just wipe it down with the rag. Just getting rid of any dust and random shit that might have settled on the boot, which this boot was definitely in a closet or in the garage or something for a while because it has a lot of dust on it. And I'm just gonna leave this one here uh, the way it is, just so you can see it before and after. I'm, I'm really happy with this score. This was a great Craigslist score for me. I mean, this is a quality looking boot. Now let's do the saddle soap. So we're gonna wanna open up this saddle soap. I'm gonna make some room over here with these rags. All right, so I'm gonna use my saddle soap brush. This is just my brush that I use for pretty much everything. So this'll be like my neutral brush as well that I use for like neutral shoe polishes or something. I'm gonna just brush this out just in case I missed anything uh, with the rag, just real quick here. Next, I'm just gonna dip the end of this brush in the water a little bit. This is my process, okay? So I know everybody has their own process, but I'm gonna dip this in the water here and then put it in the saddle soap, sort of move it around a little bit here. Done and done, and then we just apply it to the boot. Making sure to also get into that welt as well, where the vamp, the upper of the boot meets the sole. We wanna make sure that we clean in there too. The saddle soap is a cleaner, okay? It, it cleans the leather, it makes sure that everything is good to go, but it can also dry out a leather if you don't use the leather conditioner in conjunction with the saddle soap. But this saddle soap is really gonna make the white stitching on the welt pop as well. Just wait, just wait. So just sort of work this in until, it's, until the saddle soap starts to like the whiteness of it starts to disappear. But then I'll also just put a little extra on the welt here. And this is what the fingernail brush or the toothbrush is for. So you, now you take the fingernail brush or the toothbrush and you just really work that stitching, okay? And that is what's gonna bring the color back to the white stitching. It's going to really make that white pop. And that's the whole point of having the double stitch welt to begin with, is to make that white stitching pop. Now I will take a rag and wipe off the excess saddle soap here. And sometimes after this step, the leather will be wet. Uh, some leathers will soak up the saddle soap and the water more than others. So 
you might have to let it dry. And some leathers will dry faster than others. I'm just gonna also just do it quick on the toe bug as well, just to get the extra saddle soap on, out of there because the stitching sort of holds in some of that white saddle soap. So that's looking pretty good there. And this boot doesn't soak up a lot of water, so I won't have to let it dry, really. It's, I mean, it's already dry, pretty much. So we can move right into the leather conditioner phase of this reconditioning the used cowboy boot process. And this is also something that you could just do on a regular basis to your boots, but since I got these used cowboy boots. I figured it'd be a nice little video to do, mainly focusing on getting used cowboy boots. All right, so the next step is doing conditioner, applying conditioner to the boot. Now, this BIC 4 is a great leather conditioner. I've done videos about it before. You can check those out. A lot of times you can just apply it to the boot directly. I left this bottle in my car and it, the car got really hot and it sort of changed how the formula is. So it, this is a lot, uh, a little bit more watery than what it usually is new out of the bottle. I think the heat definitely had something to do with that, but still it is leather conditioner and we can just apply it to the boot like so. Mm-hmm. And this leather conditioner really brings back a lot of life into a boot. You're, you, you'll be amazed at what it can do to your boots. If you just add a little leather conditioner, it just brings the vibrance and the life right back into a cowboy boot. And you can apply it with a rag or with your hands or whatever, like it's not gonna kill you if you decide to do it with your hands. I know a lot of folks just apply it with their hands, but since this is so wet, thanks to it basically melting in the car, it's a lot easier for me to apply with a rag. And already you can see an enormous difference. I mean, yeah, the boot is wet, but geez, it, it just looks spectacular. A lot of times a boot might look like it's worth less than it is, but all it needs is a little lovin' like we're giving it right now. All, all these boots need is a little loving for a very long life. Whoo, yeah baby. Look at that, it is just popping. Let me show you. All right, so now that the leather is cleaned from the saddle soap and conditioned from the Big Four leather conditioner, now is the time when I like to do some shoe polish or boot cream or something similar because this is really going to make a boot shine and it's going to sort of just create a really nice look. So for this, you're gonna need another rag. I usually use the same rag when applying the boot polish. One of the things that you wanna keep in mind if you have boots of different colors and you use different color shoe polish is to make sure that you have a special kit for each color. So I use the same rags and the same brush on all my black stuff. So there's a black kit. And then I also have a brown kit, which has its own rags and its own brush. Because if you start mixing the brushes, especially if you go from black to brown, that's gonna make the polish and that boot look a lot darker than what you would want. So you're gonna wanna keep different kits for different colors. All right, that is really important. All right, so now let's apply this shoe polish. And what you do is you just put a little bit on the rag. At least this is my process. So, and then you just apply it to the boot. You just, in, a, in like a circular motion, right? Just like this. And on this boot, you're gonna wanna be careful because the brown outsole is different from the black vamp here. So, you don't want to put any black polish on the actual welt or the outsole, which is, a downside of having two different colors on the boot and another reason why I really don't care for the brown and black look. So just circular motions here, right? Make sure it's distributed evenly across the boot because if you don't, you might have some portions of the boot that shine more than others and it's gonna look kinda weird. 
Oh, got a little bit on the stitching of the welt here. Got to clean that off before it, it settles too much. See, this is the reason why. You got to be really careful with this or that black polish is just going to get everywhere. And it's so annoying. You got to be so careful with it. Make sure we get some on the counter as well. All right, so now that we have everything pretty much evenly distributed as far as the shoe polish is concerned across the boot, the next step is to use the brush. I just wanna make sure. I think I'd like to add a little bit more up here because I think, I, yeah, right there is where I missed a little bit. And I put a thumbprint in it when I got my stitching a little black there, but I fixed that, so. All right, so now it's evenly distributed. Next step is to take your black brush and just start brushing it. You're gonna wanna be careful though, not to run the wood into the polish or else you'll get a scuff and then you're gonna have to apply the polish again. Man, I can't believe I got these boots for $25. Cleaning them up. This just makes them look and worth so much more. Bringing back the life into these practically new boots that have been worn twice. Jeez, what a lucky find. And this is good to do just if you get a, a, a new to you pair of boots and you wanna wear them around or if you wanna flip them. Like I'm considering just flipping these boots since I got them for $25. I could post them to eBay and sell them for like 50 to 60, maybe more. All right, so you're gonna wanna brush it until it shines so you get a nice little luster in the boot. Then, to make it super shiny, you can take a rag. There are also shining rags that you can get, and I know Bic has their own specific rag for shining, and I actually have one, but I'm gonna do that on a different test video. We're gonna test what a t-shirt rag looks like compared to the Bic rag, and that's one that I'm kind of excited about doing. But for the time being, we're just gonna do a t-shirt rag and uh, just finish out with this polish. So we brushed it, but the real shine comes from using a rag to then sort of buff out that polish that we just put on. So you gotta do the brush and the rag. And the rag is where it really shines. The longer you buff it out, the shinier it's gonna get. All right, we're gonna call it a day on that. This is looking really good. I don't think I need to do too much more. Like I said, the more you buff it, the more it's gonna shine, but I mean, the difference is already so noticeable between these two boots. I'm gonna call it right there. Let me give you a closer look. See how much the boot that we just cleaned, how much life is back into it. What a beautiful luster. And the stitching here is still a little wet, so you're gonna see it pop more once it dries, but it looks so much better. I got these boots for $25 on Craigslist, guys. If you want boots, like, it can be done. You just gotta look around and then be patient enough to notice the quality underneath the dust and the dirt. Then once you clean them up, man, you got yourself a beautiful pair of boots. So that's how you clean, condition, and polish a pair of cowboy boots, whether you've had them for two years, five years, or you just got them off a of Craigslist or eBay and they need a little bit of love. That's how it's done, guys. Let me know what your process is down in the comments. Remember that this process is only for cowhide leather boots that are smooth on the outside, not for rough outs, not for suede, and not for exotic. Just the cowhide leather cowboy boots. This is my process and I hope this helped you. I hope this helps you Keep your cowboy boots for 
forever. You, you condition, you clean, and you polish your boots on a regular basis, they will last you forever and they will look spectacular. If this video was valuable to you, definitely smash that like button and subscribe because I'm doing cowboy boot videos all the time, twice a week. I shoot for Tuesdays and Thursdays, and most of the time, I hit it. So, thank you so much for watching today, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. You gotta give your boots a little tender love and care Whether they're new to you or you wear them everywhere Yeah, you gotta clean them And condition them and make them shine So you can see For decades, these boots are mine Yeah My name is Jeremiah Craig Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Peace.